Okay, now we're going to talk about synthetic division for a, for a bit, and we're going to go over some examples also. Synthetic division is actually a really neat trick that you can use um, if you want to divide polynomials. But before we even get into polynomials, let's just take a step back. Let's go back to elementary school here where we learned this quote-unquote long division uh, because we're going to need some of the concepts here uh, to apply to our synthetic. All right, so let's think about this. This says 38 divided by 7. So quick question, you know, how many times does 7 go into 38? Well, we know it's 5 times. So we get 35 with a remainder of 3, and we obviously know that uh, 7 does not go into 3. So at some point in elementary, they said, well, it's just okay to write it as 5 remainder 3. But then later on in elementary school, we learned a little bit more. And we learned that uh, this is actually um, 5 and 3 sevenths. So it's the re remainder divided by the divisor. Okay, so let's write that out for a second. Let's figure out the parts. 38 divided by 7, we know, is 5 and 3 sevenths. Okay, so let's write out what this is. This right here is what we call the dividend, that which is to be divided. And this right here is the divisor, what's doing the dividing. Now remember the answer to any division problem is called the quotient. So this is the quotient. And this, of course, here is the remainder. So notice the way that I wrote out the remainder. I put 5, the quotient, plus the 3 sevenths. Of course that's the same here as the 5 and 3 sevenths. But I'm writing it this way because we're going to be doing synthetic division and it's going to be necessary to write the quotient plus the remainder. And the remainder should look like this, a fraction. All right. So let's take a look at a couple of examples on synthetic division. All right. So here are the examples. Let's first talk about what synthetic division is. It's a quick method of dividing polynomials. It's an algorithm, if you will. It can be used whenever the divisor is of the form x minus c. So the divisor should be what we call a linear factor. All right. It doesn't necessarily have to be a factor of it, but it should be linear in the sense that it's, you know, like the equation of a line. All right, so let's write out what the algorithm would look like. Okay, so here we would have x cubed plus, all right, now notice that there's x squared and an x term missing, so we're going to kind of fill in the blanks here. I'm going to write it as 0x squared and 0x and minus 4. The thing is that if we do the synthetic division, all right, we need to fill in a space for every element, okay, or a space for every term in descending order. Okay, so it has to be in order. That's another important concept to note here. All right, so next thing we're going to do, we're going to take the denominator and we're going to say, okay, what if the denominator equals zero? What does x equal? In this case, it equals 1. Now, because we do this, this actually gives us the ability to um, add whatever we get within the algorithm. As opposed to here, we needed to subtract. So we're not going to be doing any subtraction unless it warrants it. When, we're, when we take a positive and a negative, we find the difference, right? But here, we had to subtract, okay? By doing this right here, taking the opposite of this, or setting the denominator equal to zero, I avoid having to do actually do subtraction, um, and we just add integers. Okay, so I'm going to write my one like this, and I'm going to write one, zero, zero, and negative four, which correspond to the coefficients one, zero, zero, and negative four of the numerator. All right, so let's see here. All right, or the dividend. All right, so let's see. 
the first thing that we always do is we always I always circle this first guy and I bring him straight down okay so I'm going to put a one here all right now the next part of the algorithm is to take this number outside the divisor and multiply it by this leading term so one times one and then it comes up right here one times one is one zero plus one is one one times one is one zero plus one is one one times one is one and negative four plus one is negative three now assuming that you did everything correctly of course this last number is what we call the remainder and if you take each of these terms if you will they correspond to one degree less than what the original uh, dividend was so if this is x cubed this guy is going to be of the order x squared all right so I'm going to write x squared and we're gonna actually write all of those out so this one will be x squared plus because it's positive x plus again it's positive 1 so we go down in descending order plus the remainder and what was the remainder in this case it was negative 3 divided by and just as we did over here we take the remainder and we divide it by the divisor so in this case negative 3 will be divided by the original divisor here which was x minus 1 so this is what the quotient would look like this is uh, the quotient and the remainder and this is how we would do the synthetic division algorithm okay so let's go ahead and take a look at another example here all right another example of synthetic division so again we take the opposite of this denominator and we can write it out like this negative 2 all right and notice we've got x to the fifth x to the fourth we're missing an x cube so we're going to need to fill in a zero and we're missing an x term so we're going to need to fill in a zero so we're going to put three we're going to put four we're going to put zero for the missing x cube we're going to put two for the x square we're going to put zero for the missing linear term the x term and then we'll put negative one okay again remember circle the leading term and bring it straight down okay so here it is, 3. All right, now negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. And 4 plus a negative 6 is negative 2. A negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. And 0 plus 4 is a positive 4. And negative 2 times positive 4 is negative 8 and 2 plus a negative 8 is negative 6 and negative 2 times negative 6 is positive 12 and 0 plus 12 is 12 let me extend this bar just a little more and negative 2 times 12 is negative 24 and negative 1 and plus a negative 24 is negative 25 the remainder okay so again we're going to do one degree less for all of these than what they originally were and if this was of the order x to the fifth the fifth power then this guy is going to be the fourth power 3x to the fourth plus or in this case uh, let's write it as a minus, okay, minus 2x cubed plus 4x squared uh, minus 6x plus 12, so we're corresponding here, plus the remainder, which was a negative 25, let me just fix this real quick, a negative 25 divided by the divisor which was x plus 2 
So this right here represents the quotient. Of course, this represents the remainder. So I'm going to box that in, and there is my answer. So a couple of quick examples on how to do synthetic division, and hopefully it makes some sense and you realize that it's actually not that bad and it's actually a great way of dividing polynomials.